We've got high hopes for this contest with these two fighters. Should be a really good matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss. The gentleman of boxing, Floyd Patterson. One of the legends of legends. Fighting out of Waco, North Carolina. A true heavyweight superstar. The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, this multi-time heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Brooklyn, New York, here is the Olympic gold medalist and the two-time heavyweight champion of the world and truly one of the all-time greats. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. Good job getting out of the way of that left. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. So much pre-match drama before this showdown. Who could forget what we saw yesterday at the weigh-in? These two boxers are finally ready to get it on. Can you imagine walking into this tub, walking into an arena with such nine people chanting your name? You can't even hear your corner man whispering in your ear. I've been in situations like that where it can be terrorizing if you haven't got your wits about you. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? I'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Nice exchange here from both men. He takes that jab. Both of these men showing, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come on, bell, ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. What do we expect to see here in round two? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. They exchange punches. That left counter was perfectly timed. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Threw the hook, didn't land. Good left counter that lands. Beautiful counter shot. And he just missed with that left jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that nosh above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than have to. That left counter punch the score. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. 
Counterpunch is my favourite kind of fighter. A good counterpuncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Catch and shoot. The courage on display here is incredible. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice counter. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round. Next... Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Quick punch scores. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long loop. Not many fighters can do that. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Right punch. Left punch. Good left hand. Fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring rights. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Here's the bell to start round four. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. The plan is to try and change that game plan. Get him angry, get him frustrated. Make him deviate away from the plan. Misses with that jab. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Both men step back for just a moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because somebody's going to get hurt and someone's going to react. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Good 
counterpunching from both these athletes. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Wow, it's like two different leagues. On to the fifth we go. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Punch, counter punch. He missed with that jab. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. And he misses with that jab. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Left counter scores. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. is down big time on the score. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. This is the beginning of round six. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. You've got someone with that hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. You'd like to see more jabs. There's a counter shot. He just misses with that jab. Beautiful counter punch. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a the fight. They've got to relax. Nice job by him to block that jab. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it.
And there's the bell to start round seven. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? When are we going to see a jab from these two? Hey, those punches add up. Great counter right hand there. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Lands with the right counter. Nice counter shot. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. No doubt about who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. And we enter the eighth round. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Jab doesn't find a home. Got his gloves up to block the left jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have to quick burst, boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed, and that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. These two are the perfect dance partners. Swing and a miss with the jab. They've got to use their jab better in this fight. Neither man really defending themselves. Ten seconds to go here in the round. A perfect counter shot. On her right. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, it's like two different leagues. There's the bell to start round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp.
correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That punch lands. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Perfect counter land. Ice and fury in serious trouble. I don't see how he's gonna get out of this. Oh. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the corner has got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. And there's the bell for round 10. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. That counter shot lands. Showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchange here from both men. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Good counter punch. Gonna keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots. But come on, that leaves more opportunities for headshots. Nice counter shot. Neither man really defending themselves. He just misses with that big right hand. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship rounds. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on.
when we talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. That left. Tyson Fury just got rocked. Do you believe? Down goes Fury. it up and this fight continues some fighters when this happens this can be heartbreaking some fighters it makes them angry when they get back into the mix again i want to know what sort of character are we looking at here showing a lot of heart to beat the count there oh that really affected floyd there Ten seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Well, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Who thought we would have made it to 12? He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Nope, that jab not going to score. Exchanges from both men in this round. Dad does not score. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Big swing in the miss. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. that left jab away. Big left there, but misses. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. decision there, a unanimous one. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart that is. Total change of styles to make sure they got it. Had every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious. 